Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is all about my summer essentials. If you wanna see some of my picks and recommendations for your must-have summer essentials for beauty, then just keep on watching. Recently, I did a whole video on how to buy SPF, talk about physical and chemical differences, UVA and UVB rays. If you wanna check out that video, then you can click that link in the description box. It will be the first clickable link. Starting off, I wanted to share with you guys the Fresh Sugar Sport. This is a treatment SPF and it is a chemical SPF. The majority of the time, I do not leave the house without wearing SPF 30 all over my face. I also mentioned that on my lips and around my eyes, I do not wear a physical SPF. I typically wear a chemical SPF. And the reason being is really don't like the taste of SPF in my mouth. And two, I wear the Fresh Sugar lip treatment every single day. It's also a chemical SPF. Full disclosure, I am a a fresh sugar lip lover ambassador for the year and this is part of that ambassadorship is sharing with you guys the sport this is a chemical SPF 30 that is also a treatment and what I like about it is that it rolls up and it feels and has the same texture as the fresh sugar lip treatment if I'm going to be at the pool or if I'm gonna be outside in direct sunlight for a long time I will use this on my lips instead of the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment because this bumps up my protection to SPF 30, which is the recommended protection. Then I also like to use this under my eyes because it is very, very hydrating, not chalky and not heavy. The reason I don't like wearing a physical SPF under my eyes is because typically, even though I have a lot of great tinted ones that don't give me the white cast, they are a little bit more drying, they are a little bit heavier, and I have really fine lines and I have really delicate skin around my eyes. Using this really amazing lightweight SPF around my eyes, I'm still able to wear concealer, not get the milia, and not feel like sticky and then when it sweats like it just feels better and this is also great if you are allergic or sensitive to titanium dioxide or zinc oxide which my friend Christine is and she cannot wear anything with zinc in it other great thing about this is that it is so small and convenient it goes pretty much in all of my bags or even in my pocket this is easy to keep on me it even fits in my yoga pants because my yoga pants has a little slot that it's a hidden pocket so to Typically, I bring a lip balm with me and my house keys. This replaces not just my lip balm, but also reapplying sunblock. I love the scent of this because it doesn't smell like traditional SPF. I hate the smell of traditional SPF. It smells really fresh and lightweight and with a slight hint of citrus. Great option for reapplying, great option for your eye area and your lips. The number one question I get all the time about SPF is how do you reapply SPF if you're already wearing makeup? My answer is a mineral physical SPF powder. And this is from Color Science. Peter Thomas Roth also makes one. And Nick Cosmetics has a CC plus powder in a compact that has SPF 50. There's a lot of mineral powders. There's Mineral Fusion also makes something similar to this. This one I'm using up from Color Science. I quite enjoy it. It has a physical SPF 50. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. Instant protection. It goes beautiful over your makeup. It looks good alone. It is tinted. There's different shade ranges. I'm in a medium and I would recommend going darker than what you think you are because the colors do vary a little bit more on the lighter side. I go to amusement parks and this is always in my purse and I make Hubs put it all over himself. He has no hair and he's very, very fair. He's Irish descent, so he's like translucent fair and he burns like that. This is perfect because I pull this out, I wipe it all over his head, I make him put it all over his face. But you do need to reapply every two hours if you're in direct sunlight and sweating a lot, especially if you towel off or getting out of the pool. Highly recommend picking one of these up for your family. The current SPF that I've been wearing every single day since I got it is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Multi Performance Stick 5-in-1 Complexion Perfector. This is broad spectrum SPF 45. It's a physical SPF with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Just really nice. I love it. It's tinted. It's quite dark. They did say if it does well, they'll come out with more color ranges. The only thing I have to say about this product is that if you are severely dry, I don't know that you'll get along with it. it does tend to cling a little bit to dry patches because it is giving you that poreless mattifying look it does diminish a couple age spots and sunspots like i'm not wearing foundation today i'm just wearing this 
and a little bit of powder and concealer over it. I really enjoy this, especially it's a one step and go for me because it minimizes my pores, diminishes fine lines, it gives me my SPF and protects. If you're severely dry, then I would say maybe this isn't going to work for you. Before I was using the Dr. Brandt, I was using the Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen with Broad Spectrum SPF 35. This is really nice, it's really lightweight, it hydrated my skin and it did also protect it. I really liked the texture and it didn't leave a weird white cast. It works beautifully under makeup. I also recommend this one if you're looking for something that was a little bit more hydrating and didn't have that chalky feel. One of my all-time favorite SPFs, which this is a repurchase, is from MD Solar Science. They make really great SPFs, especially if you have sensitive skin. SPF 30, this is tinted. You will get this beautiful, silky silicone finish. There is silicone in this. I just absolutely love it because it's tinted, it's moussey, it's got this beautiful texture, and it's a physical SPF. This one is from Shiseido. This is the Sports BB, and I really love this. It's an SPF 50. It is a physical and chemical mixed SPF, so you have this beautiful fluid feel. It's very liquidy and watery. This is the shade light, which is just too light for me for the summertime. I need to get a medium. Really small. You can shake it up really, really good, and then you pour a bunch and you wipe it all over your face. You'll get the SPF 50 protection for UVA and UVB rays. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes. It's going to offer a nice little tint, so you won't get that white cast. You won't get the chalky feeling, and you'll also get to minimize a little bit of your imperfections if you wanted to. This is a new one from Avene, and it's a high protection SPF 50 with UVA and UVB protection. It's a physical SPF, and it is using titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. This is going to be fragrance-free, oil-free, perfect for sensitive skin, and it comes in three shades, light, medium, and tan or deep. It's a buildable medium to full coverage. I use this on my hand just to test it out, and I think it's really nice. It is definitely thicker because as the SPF count goes higher, it is harder to keep the physical SPF ingredients from becoming thicker and a little bit more of its physical tendencies. If you're used to wearing a foundation or um, SPF, I don't think you'll have an issue with this. And I think it's a great affordable option for sensitive skin that is still looking for a good high protection. If you're going for like ba bam full coverage but looks natural and really makeup that also protects, I highly recommend the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. This is my favorite. This is the only SPF that I trust in a foundation. I know it's technically not called a foundation, but to me it lives in my foundation drawer. And if I forgot to wear SPF under in my skincare routine, I can get away with this because you wear enough of it, it feels amazing, it's got a physical SPF 50, it protects both UVA and UVB rays, and it just feels amazing on the skin and makes my skin look radiant and natural and full coverage. If you want something for the summertime in terms of just makeup one and done, you can definitely pick up the It Cosmetics one. I really enjoy it. As the weather changes, my skin acts up and I get really textural, bumpy, and itchy cheeks. My friend is amazing. Carla thought of me, Fashion Maven Mommy here on YouTube as well as her blog, and her friend was in London and asked if she wanted anything. She's like, oh, actually, can you pick some of these up for Serene? This is the La Roche-Posay Zero Sink, and I love this stuff. It is so comforting on my dry, itchy skin, and I just spray this after I cleanse my skin. I use it as a toner, essentially, um, before I go in with any serums or moisturizers. So this is great. I get hives, I get heat rashes, I get really sensitive skin in the summertime, and this calms it down. Love this stuff. Thinking along with sprays, I have also really been enjoying this Lather Cucumber and Ginseng Facial Mist. It smells like cucumbers, it's really refreshing. I like using this throughout the day, especially if you're really hot. It's also really nice if you powder your face and you don't wanna look powdery, this like sets it. My favorite I discovered last year was from Sol de Janeiro, and it's the Brazilian bum bum cream. This smells amazing. It's said to firm your skin and I don't care if it does or doesn't. I just feel like it offers a little sparkle. It tones. It really makes my skin feel amazing and tight and it makes my skin look great and it makes me smell wonderful. Waterproof eyeliners. I love 
not wearing that much makeup in the summertime, but I find that smudging a little bit of eyeliner really makes my eyes a little bit more defined. I also really love using my Wonder Brow because Wonder Brow doesn't smudge or budge and I can kind of like wipe my face and my brow will still stay in place. So I definitely recommend the Wonder Brow right here. The shade Black Brown. And then what I do with Wonder Brow is I fill in my brows typically first with a powder and then I go in with this to set it or I can use this alone but I'll go in with an angled brush because I don't like the brush that comes in this thing. The product's amazing, the application's a little flawed in my opinion. Waterproof eyeliner. I really love these Mally Evercolor Gel waterproof liners because they're super, super budge proof and waterproof once they set. I will smudge it in between my lash line, use my fingers to smudge, and I'm good to go. It just makes my eyes look more bright and awake. They're waterproof, and I feel like even if I don't wear any makeup and I just wanna like finish my look, this is all I need. And of course, powder, guys. I love powders. One of my favorite powders for the summertime that looks really natural and is very, very lightweight is the 100% Pure Fruit Pigment Foundation Powder. This is in the shade Peach Bisque. So love, love, love this stuff. Clearly, I used it all up and I have a backup because it is by far my favorite powder that has a tint to it. It offers this beautiful way of setting my makeup or setting my SPF. And it's really great because you can build it up and build up the coverage and it absorbs any excess oils, but it doesn't make me ever look powdery or cakey. Another great tip that I like to share with you guys for the summertime is something that's super affordable. It's dry brushing. I've been dry brushing for a while now and I love the way my skin looks. I love the way my body feels and I think it just is a great, great way to not only exfoliate but detoxify your body and help your body to detox. So I picked this up from Amazon. It was $3. It's just a dry brush. You can Google it, look it up. Um, pick one wherever you want. You can buy them for as cheap as three bucks or you can even buy like the fancy ones that are like $10. You wanna brush up towards your heart, except for your stomach, you wanna work clockwise and each area of your body do a minimum of three strokes. I like to do like five strokes and I just brush my whole entire naked body, jump in the shower, wash off and step out. My skin feels amazing. It feels super, super soft and smooth. It's perfect for if you do a self tanner, it's beautiful to fade your self tanner and it's beautiful to exfoliate before self tanner. It's also great if you tend to get razor bumps or any ingrown hairs. And I just love the way I feel. You feel a little tingly and it just feels so good and it preps your skin for showing it off. Speaking of shaving or razor bones, not really, that wasn't a great segue. I've been using coconut oil to shave it is something I never thought to do, but um, I just happen to have the Kapari coconut melt. You can use any coconut oil. I really do love this coconut melt though from Kapari. It's incredibly high quality and you get so much product. I use so much of this. I throw scoops of this in my bath. I throw this all over my body and then I shave. So amazing about shaving with coconut oil is that I get the closest, softest shave and coconut oil it has antibacterial properties. So if you nick yourself or if you tend to get razor bumps or ingrown hairs, it really helps with that, especially around my bikini line and bikini area when I'm shaving. I love using coconut oil. It is so good and it's so easy to do. And then I don't even have to moisturize afterwards because my skin is hydrated from the coconut oil in the shower. I love, love using coconut oil to shave and especially your bikini area, guys. Definitely try coconut oil to shave your bikini area and then I started using it all over my body. It's amazing. So those are all of my summer essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, make sure you check out my SPF video linked in the description bar as well, description box. I will see you guys in my next video. I upload three new videos every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday on this channel. I also have a second channel, More Serene. I'll be vlogging and doing DIY fun lifestyle stuff over there. I also do bonus uploads here every so often, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my blog, serenewoo.com. All of my social medias are at serenewoo. Everything you might need to know, description box, leave me a comment if you have any more questions, and I will see you guys right back here in my next video. Bye.